This is Hello Glass with another Glass Artist interview. What is your name and are you a glass artist? Uh, my name is Jacob James Garcia. I am a glass artist, uh, also how, JJG Glass. How long have you been making glass and you consider yourself a master? I've, I've been making glass for about three years now. Am I a master? Absolutely not. I've been surrounded by some people that just remind me of that just by their presence. So am I a master? No. I think I'm a hell of a novice. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? See, I'm in between that right now, between lathe work and uh, doing stuff by hand. So it's kind of just anything that can further me as an artist at the moment would be my favorite style. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Austin, Texas. Planet Austin. <laughs> do you own or work under a glass brand or an art name? Um, I work at a friend's shop, uh, so out of home. If you could make glass with anyone living, who would that be? Well, the cool thing is, um, I actually have that option. I know a lot of great glass blowers. Um, actually, sitting at one of their stations, we'll co we'll collab later. So I'll work with Jake just to do something fun. He'll show me something, and I'll do the small parts. You make your living solely off glass art. Yes. No. 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 I make the bulk of my living uh, with glass. I also uh, supplement some income by doing stand-up comedy. What style or technique of glass is hardest for you? Oh man, there's so many things. I mean, it's constantly evolving. So I mean, there's so many things that are difficult for me. Um, you know, right now I'm trying to uh, make handheld bubblers. So that's proving to be difficult only because I'm not as smart as I thought I was. So. <laughs> Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. Jay did. Jay uh, actually worked with me uh, a lot of the philosophy of glass. He spent some time you know, just telling me to understand what's happening. Instead of just being a, a robot, he said, this is what's happening, this is what you need to do. And he would break it down into analogies that I understood. Also, uh, a good friend of mine named Mike Howard, uh, he would sit down and show me a lot of the basics, and he's a solid glass blower. So I was uh, honored that he kind of like Fred Astaire teaching me how to two step. So uh, I was honored he worked with me. Is there any style or technique in glass that you would or will learn in the future? Um, you know, I might start uh, helping a friend of mine uh, named uh, Shea, Bo uh, Shea Paycheck with some domes. So that might be a next step for me. He's also helped me quite a bit. He showed me how to make some domes and um, maybe I'll help him out. Name two glass artists that impress you. Salt's impressive. Z's impressive. Um, they blow my mind. You know, I mean, I can go on on who impresses me and I'd be like, there's a long list of people that impress me. Great so. answer. What style or technique in glass amazed you when you first saw it? One more time. What style or technique in glass amazed you when you first saw it? Made me? Amazed you. Oh, amazed me. You know, honestly, the first time I ever saw a tube being made, and this is just the honest truth, I had never really considered before I got into glass where the glass came from. I never really, I just took it for granted. So the first time I saw a tube being made, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, wow. Just because you're watching that big bubble form, it was three years ago, I knew nothing. So to watch that bubble form was just amazing to me. That was the first thing that just amazed me. Worst injury you ever got making glass art? Got nine stitches right here, um, five right here. I just moved from torching and making little, uh, little one hitters to uh, getting a tube so I can start blowing glass. The uh, gentleman that was in charge, my manager, came up to me, congratulated me, said, here's a tube, you're gonna be a fucking glass blower now. Congratulations, I talked smack saying, I'm gonna make bongs out of matches! Like, I thought I was the greatest guy in the world. And 30 minutes later, I was in the hospital. Um, I had uh, made a tool, and I was trying to push the graphite through the glass wasn't wearing gloves, and slice, slice, and um, 14 stitches later, I'm a glass blower now. I had my, I paid my due. I paid my due. I have my injury. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Um, honestly, um, and I said this earlier, a few years ago I would have said, make a paycheck. That's what I would have said, just, just make a paycheck. Um, but last to me has become that girl in a romantic comedy that's right under your nose that you never saw there. In the last year, I realized Glass has been there the whole time. And um, I want to accomplish 
to the point where I'm comfortable with my work and people appreciate it. You know, that's that's where I want to be and uh, help pay for the comedy. I mean, once I get huge, I'm still going to have a glass blowing room in my, in my mansion. That's going to happen. And I'll donate it to charity or something. They'll pay way more than it's worth because uh, I'm not that good. <laughs> How does a glass fan get a hold of you or get to buy your work? Um, you can go to Jacob James Garcia on Facebook. Spell it. It's J A C O B J A M E S G A R C I A or on Twitter, um, J J G Now. That's my Twitter handle. Uh, those connect people to my comedy, but I also respond to anything glass related on there. So cool. or Google Jacob James Garcia. I'll be the first person to pops up. Yeah. You got three minutes to say to your world or have a comedy skit. Go for it. <clears throat> Uh, honestly, I just want to extend my appreciation to the Glass Point community. You guys have taken me in, considering the fact that I was a wet little puppy, wet behind the ears, didn't know a whole lot. So um, I've been really fortunate with the amount of love and attention I've gotten from everyone in the Austin Glass Point community. Stand-up-wise, y'all need to check me out. YouTube, Jacob James Garcia. Google it. I'll be the first one that pops up. Facebook, Twitter, JJG Now. Got a lot of stuff in the works. Um, you look that up, and uh, you go to one of my shows, I might just give you a pipe. I just say, thanks for coming to the show, friend me on Facebook. Here's a little pipe worth, like, not that much, because, quite frankly, I'm not all that good just yet. And uh, check me out here in Austin. I mean, this is the land of prolonged adolescence. So, um, I don't know if I took up three minutes. I can go on for days. If you gave me ten minutes, I would do that. And you all get a free comedy show. But just check me out at JJG now, or Jacob James Garcia. See you guys later. This was Hello Glass with another Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much for your time. Cool, thanks.